Hello everybody, today I will show you how to run a man with new test or Ugal Cox and Ragsum test, which is the same. Um, but as usual, I'll start with an example from the field. So a couple of months ago we caught um, this bird. This is um, a corn bunting, which is a small European bird. It's declining in population. Um, and we trapped the birds with mist nets. And in total we, we captured 18 different birds. And Nine birds were males and nine birds were females. And when we captured the birds, we measured their total length. So starting from the tip of the beak until the end of the tail. And the question that we had was whether the females uh, had a different length than the males, whether there was a, a difference in size. So let's look at the data set. So first I attach the data and now let's take a look at it. So this is the total data set. It's a quite small data set, only 18 uh, birds were captured in total, nine males, nine females, so it's well balanced. Uh, and these are the corresponding lengths of the males and the females. Um, the first thing you should always do if you if you do statistics is to, um, in this case for group differences, to, to draw a box plot. So let's look at the box plot. On the left we see the, the female length distribution, on the right we see the distribution of lengths of the males, and it seems as if the males are a bit um, larger than the females, although we cannot tell whether this is uh, statistically significant because um, there's quite some overlap in the distribution. Also we have a quite a small sample size so it's hard to tell in this case whether we're dealing with a normal distribution. For example here is an outlier. Um, the box plots don't really look that well so in, in this case it's, it's probably safest to run a non-parametric test. So the parametric test would be uh, an independent samples t-test, but in this case we're going to do the man with new test because we're not sure about um, the normal distribution of both populations. And the man with new test or Wilcox and Ransom test only have one major, uh, it has one major assumption, which is that all samples are independent. So in our case that means that um, we captured different birds and we, we did not measure um, the same bird again because that would not be independent and also all birds were randomly caught so there was no uh, bias in in how we caught birds or which birds we caught. Um, so this assumption has been met. So then we can move on to the Wilcoxon test itself. The code is very simple, it's also a very simple test. So you type Wilcox.test and then we want to look at length uh, versus sex. The mu should be zero because the null hypothesis is that there's no difference uh, in size between females and males. So we put it at zero. Then we do a two-sided test because we don't know in advance whether males will be larger than females. So that's why we do a two-sided test. This is also um, the, the standard procedure for a Wilcoxon test uh, if you don't type this code you would get a two-sided test. Then uh, if you want to do a continuity correction we type correct is true. We're, we don't, we're not dealing with paired data uh, so paired is false. I also want to get the confidence interval. Normally you don't get it so that's why we type conf.int is true. So we get the confidence interval and then we indicate what our data set is that we're working with. So let's run this test and then look at the output. So here we have the output. Um, first of all, what we see is that the p-value is smaller than 0.05. So that means that we reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. So the alternative hypothesis is that uh, the location shift is not equal to zero. In other words, in simple words, uh, the males have a different size than the females based on this test. So if you want to write the paper, what's important is um, the W value, which is the test statistic of the Wilcox and Ransom test. In this case, it's 10. Um, this is the confidence interval that we requested with our code uh, conf.inf is true. And then this is the estimate of uh, the difference of the median in this case. So if you, it's minus 2.2. So if you look at the box plot, then indeed it seems as if there is a an average 2.2 shift in um length between males and females. So this way we've proven that um, the males are larger than the females. So this is it for the man with new test. Um, 
If you like this tutorial, please check out my other tutorials.